Let's talk about Yuji and Tsukuna's binding vow from season one. I've had a lot of people ask me to explain their binding vow, but also a lot of people that have been confused as to why the events of Shibuya didn't break that binding vow. So let's get into it. So to begin, a brief recap on what binding vows are. They are simply contracts that have been enforced with cursed energy. In this case, it's a contract between Tsukuna and Yuji. So what did they agree to? Tsukuna agrees to heal Yuji. He'll use reverse curse technique and bring him back to life. If you'll recall, Yuji kicked the bucket after getting his heart ripped out of his chest. In return, Yuji will give Tsukuna control of his body for one full minute. However, there are some conditions on this. First of all, Tsukuna gets to decide when, and it's with a keyword. That word is in chain. Secondly, when Tsukuna is in control, he is not allowed to harm anyone. And third, Yuji is not allowed to remember that he even made this binding vow. So now let's flash forward to the events of season two. Tsukuna takes over Yuji's body and absolutely devastates Shibuya. So I've had a lot of people ask me, doesn't this violate the terms of the binding vow? Shouldn't he face dire consequences for this? And the answer is no, because he didn't violate the binding vow. Again, the binding vow is only enacted when Tsukuna chants the word in chain, and then that minute will begin of him taking over Yuji, and that minute is where he is not allowed to harm anyone. So the only reason he took over during uh, Shibuya was because Jogo fed him all of those fingers at once, and Yuji's body could not adapt quickly enough to contain him like he normally would. So when Tsukuna took over, he was not bound by any of those restrictions. He was free to do whatever he wanted. Hopefully that helps clear things up, and for my anime only you're just gonna have to wait and see what he's got planned for that binding vow